This is the Star News Brief. I'm Tina Mombanu. President William Ruto vowed to soldier on with his affordable housing program on a day the courts dealt a devastating twin blow to his administration's key initiatives. On Friday, Ruto suffered two setbacks after the court halted the deduction of the housing levy that his administration imposed to realize the program. In a separate ruling, the High Court stopped the UN-backed plan to send a thousand National Police Service officers to fight criminal gangs in Haiti. The rulings came days after Ruto met Chief Justice Martha Kome to mend fences following sustained attacks by the president on corrupt judicial officials allegedly sabotaging government programs. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. The High Court on Friday postponed to March 15th the judgment of former TV news anchor Jackie Maribe and her lover Joey Irongo in the murder case of Monica Kimani. This was after Maribe fell ill. The court was ready to proceed, but Maribe's advocate, Katwa Keegan, pleaded with the court to have the judgment adjourned, saying she was seriously ill. Her lawyer said the tenure of her illness is confidential, but they will provide the medical documents to substantiate their claim to the prosecution. The move by the government to go slow on taxing beers in the 2023 National Tax Policy Statement has driven up consumption in the first half of the year compared to a similar period last year. In the first half of the 2023-2024 financial year, East African breweries has reported an 18% increase in beer uptake compared to an 11% rise in the spirits category. Beers had for the past five years been the punching bag for higher taxes until 2023 when the government exempted the product. The government has suffered a blow after the court prohibited the National Security Council from deploying police officers to Haiti. Delivering the judgment on Friday, High Court Judge Chacha Muita said the manner used in the proposed deployment is unconstitutional, null and void. He said the National Security Council has no legal mandate to deploy police officers under the law, adding that it can only do so with the defense forces. And slightly over a year after the general election, an unprecedented political realignment have hit Western as former polls regroup to craft strategies ahead of the 2027 polls. In the recent weeks, once sworn political arch rivals have publicly buried the hatchet and announced truce. The Kamega Senator Boni Halwale and former Governor Weekly for Paranya last week declared they had set aside their political differences and committed to work together. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.